So when we meet people at seminars or at a place like the Miami Boat Show or ICAST or something, they're always asking about, you know, tell me about this show, what, what actually happened on that show? And so we started thinking about ways that we could do that this year, and we're going to deliver these on the web. So I want to tell you about today's show with Riley. We were fishing with him. He wanted to catch a tarpon more than anything else. He had never caught one. So we needed to be out there first light, and we needed to fish the last part of the incoming tide at a bridge near uh, Hawks Cay. So the absolute best bait for that situation would have been mullet. We got up and actually it's in the fall right now, it's October, and the mullet run is going on. But we needed to catch the mullet first thing in the morning, even before light, and take them out underneath the bridge and, and put them out for the, for the big tarpon. And I think that if we were successful in doing that, that we would have uh, actually caught more fish and possibly even bigger fish as we were presenting a bigger bait but we were not successful in catching the mullet at all. The mullet were actually incredibly spooky. They were in the boat basin at Hawks K, and we took two or three throws on them at first light. Uh, it's pretty deep in there, and they get very wary very quickly in that boat basin. So we were unable to catch the mullet, and it started to, to really started to panic a little bit. But I had gone out the day before and caught pilchards with my family, and uh, knew where there were some larger pilchards, you know, pilchards that are even this big, sandy key pilchards. Now there's two main types of pilchards that we catch in the Florida Keys. One is the razor belly, and the other is the sandy key. The sandy key has a little bit more of a yellow coloration on them. They, you'll, you'll know those when you catch them because they don't last very long in the live well. They only last maybe half a day where the real razor belly pilchards will make it all the way through the day and you, know, may, and you can even pin them up and they, they're just a much hardier bait. Typically, they don't get as big as the sandy keys. So we knew where there were some sandy keys. We go over, make two or three throws, and we're actually able to fill the live well with pilchards and, and go back out to that same spot. The pilchards were big enough that we're able to hook them, cast them, and, and throw, and catch Riley his first fish, and actually he ended up landing two. So good job to Riley, and good thing to have a plan B. You know, we wanted the mullet, but the pilchards were a plan B, and if we didn't have that, today's show would have been a complete bust.